Hey guys, welcome back to Zamox channel. Today, we're gonna do some unboxing because what time is it now? Unboxing time. So I bought some things and it's from like two or three months ago. I don't really remember if from a C mail. So that's why they're here now. And today we're gonna do some unboxing and let's go. So coming up first, we have the first package that I bought from Facebook market two months ago. It's from Japan. You can see it right here. Japan post right here. So let's just take it out. Ooh. Okay, so this is the bag right here. This is the bag. And uh, let's check what's in there. First, well, I don't think I bought this, but this one right here, the Gundam head for the Master Grade. Gundam head, I think this one right here is the Gundam Mark II head. I don't think I bought this, but maybe the seller just give it to me as a gift. I don't know, but okay. Upcoming next is the Heavy Arms Ego Unit. Well, some of you is gonna comment down below and like, bro, you said it yourself, the Supernova is better. Why did you buy the Bandai version? Well, three months ago, I was negotiating with the seller and three months ago, Supernova didn't announce that they are gonna release a Heavy Arms uh, Ego Unit. So, which was why that I bought the Bandai version. Well, I might go for the Supernova version as well. Oh, by the way, I open it up and take a look what's inside. Compared to the Sunlong Gundam Liao Ya unit and the Death Scythe Gundam with wings, I think this one right here have a lot more extra things compared to those two right there. So this one right here, not exactly bad, but I just wish that I know that the Supernova is going to release it and then I can stop buying the Bandai version and just strictly go for the Supernova version. Ta da 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 da. Ultron Gundam and the Swords version. This one right here, I have a lot of story to share with you, but I plan to save it for the actual review. So now I'm just gonna share one of it. So this one right here is supposed to be my first Master Grade review, but I can't find it anywhere. So the Astray Blue Frame D took the price as the first Master Grade review that I ever done on this channel. Well, let's be honest, this Gunpla right here is not really that cheap. So the seller is from Japan and this thing right here, without the shipping, I think this thing costs like $200. So it's still pretty expensive. I know there's a Supernova version out there, but personally, I'm not interested to buy it at all. The redesign is not my taste and I still like the Bandai version better. So. I'm not planning to buy the Supernova Ultron Gundam because, you know, simply it's just not my taste. But anyway, this is still one of my favorite Gundam design. I fulfilled my dream anyway, so I will definitely make a review about this very soon. Moving on to the second kit of the day. Avalanche x -Shear. Well, I don't look at Okay, let's try again. Avalanche x share right here. So what happened to the original box? Some of you might ask it because you maybe didn't buy from Gundam Central before. Maybe you never purchased a third party kit before. The Ben and Dragon Momoko, all their Gundam kits now will be like this, either in a messy box or even in like a plain white box that I got from my Astray Alpha MD. So the reason is they want to avoid legal letters. They don't want to get sued by Bandai for copying license illegally using license but anyway they just threw away the box up threw away the box took out the runner took out the instruction menu and shove it into another box like this or shove it into a plain white box and that's how it happened but i mean this is gonna be a great kit like look at this this box is so huge wow it's gonna be that's like a lot of runners in it so i have high expectation for this kit right here very high expectation actually so let me just quickly flick through the instruction menu. You know, the box art, it's not quite bad. Like, take a look at this, it still look pretty cool. It's cooler than the Bandai version though, in my opinion. So let's take a look. So this is what it looks like after you finish it. I don't know, can you see it or not? So it should be something like this. And then we got a base as well. What's next? We have a lot of weapon variation as well. Take a look at this. We have a lot of weapon variation. And then for the legs part though, for the legs part though, you can put it in like two different ways, just a standard leg, or you can have these skaters. Well, I don't know, does it call as the skaters, but you get what I mean. A page in a page, wow. A page in a page. Anyway, this one right here, why I purchased it. 
It's very simple. One of my videos, I asked you guys, do you want me to purchase the The Band Avalanche X year and then just review it? And you guys said, yes, hell yeah. So that's why I bought it. The last box of this video from Hobby0096 right here. Well, Hobby0096, for those of you, is a new shop in Australia, I think. And they are doing pre-orders for Premium Bandai. And sometimes they will do like regular release, but most of their stuff is Premium Bandai and also pre-order as well. So I pre-ordered the Gundam Astray Red Dragon. Since most of you really want to see this review and you guys voted like 53%, 54% of you want to see this video, so which was why I bought this Master Grey. For the flight pack though, I don't plan to purchase the Bandai version. I know that the Band version, there's a metal build version of the flight pack. Uh, I'm pretty interested on getting that, but unfortunately Gundam Central don't have the stock, which was why I am able to buy it as well. But Today right here, we got the Astray Red Dragon. So coming up first is one of their gifts, the action-based one right here. Last time, I bought the Infinite Justice from them and they gave me an action-based 5 as well. I don't know, this is, is it true or not, but every time when you purchase a kit from them, I think they will give you an action bay as like an extra gift or something like that. Yeah, so the surface is pretty nice actually. Now, this is the protagonist of the day. Gundam Astray Red Dragon, $210. Hella expensive because most of you folded for the Astray Red Dragon, which was why I purchased this Master Grade right here. But to be honest, just from the box art right here, you can tell that the Astray Red Dragon is probably one of the coolest design ever. Look at that antenna. How can you say no to the antenna? Look at that gigantic sword. How can you say no to this gigantic sword right here? Beautiful, marvelous, excellent, amazing. Wow. I'm actually very excited on building this. Thank you guys for watching this unboxing video. This will be the end of the unboxing. And by the way, Hobby0096 manager, boss, owner, if you're watching this video now, I am very welcome if you just email me and then you sponsor me for another premium and I, I am very welcome about that. So thank you guys for watching this unboxing video. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell next to the subscribe button so you get notified whenever I upload a new video. Also, the donation links will be in the description and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye! Well done for those of you who didn't close the last part of the video because I totally tricked you there, 100%. But anyway, back to the topic. I received this like an extra gift or something like that. So I thought I would just do like a quick review about this thing right here. So the Gundam head, we have five in the collection right here. So we got Gundam Setter, the new Gundam Double Setter, the RX-78 and the Gundam Mark II. The one that I got right here is the Gundam Mark II. But I don't really understand why this thing is so like expensive. I know it's like a premium but not even exclusive thing, but I don't I still don't understand why it's so expensive like worldwide because it doesn't even give you like LED to light it up. So why is it so expensive? I don't really get it. But anyway, you know, it's a very thin box, so we can just quickly open it up and after you open it, you will see things like a head. This is the head part as well and they also gave you the stickers. And then this is the base for you to connect the head. And this is the instruction menu right here. It's just one page. Not much things to, for me to talk about. So as you can see right here, so first you assemble the head, then you plug it onto the base, and then you put the Gundam Mark II sticker onto the base, and there you, there you go. So I don't understand why this thing is so ex expensive, but I think this thing right here will be like a very cool little decoration for my room, so. Why don't we do it now? There you go guys, this is like a quick review about this head right here. This head is like really simple, like you can move it like to whatever direction that you want. This head right here, the colors, they were all glossy colors. So which means if you want to get rid of the heavy plastic feeling, you need to repaint. Other than that, the eyes and sensor remain to be stickers. And honestly, I don't know why this thing's selling like $70 on Facebook market per head. I mean per head, $70 per head. Five of them, $350. I don't know why they're selling that expensive, but I don't think this thing worth that much at all. It's just a very normal master grade head and then just like a, like a little decoration.
it's, it's very simple. They don't even give you like LEDs. I don't I don't understand why this thing is so expensive on the Facebook market. But anyway, it's a little cool decoration though. But I don't really recommend you to throw like all your money on this little decoration right here. So yeah, this is basically the review. Thank you guys for watching. Bye bye.